This small room is bursting at the seams with color and fabrics and creativity. Creating, designing, mm -hmm. and buying fabric. <laughs> That's the fun part. Trelane's living room is both her artistic studio and head office. It's where she creates her designer aprons. I started out building aprons for friends, and then, and then it became aprons for friends of friends, and then it became aprons for friends of friends of friends, and I thought, whoa, what's going on here? Charlene has been sewing her entire life, starting on a machine that her mother bought at an auction. She was looking at it as a feature, and I'm looking at it like, ooh, wouldn't that be fun to play with that, right? So she um, put in the front hall, and that's where I learned to sew. Then her mother brought home another machine. She brought home this. And so um, I was just like, oh my God, I love that. When Charlene was 15, her house caught on fire. And what do you think the first thing she saved was? So then I see this machine and I see that there's flames on this machine and I go, oh my God. So I pick up the machine and I chuck it right out the window. And it went flying through the air and it landed in the snow. And it, of course the flames went out, so I thought, great. So then, um, yeah, so that's the machine I've been working on ever since. But although her business is gaining momentum now, it wasn't always that way. In 2009, Charlene suffered from a major illness and fell into a coma for five months. And then when I came to, I was homeless. And so then I ended up um, at Transition House. It was at the Transition House where Charlene first learned about the Bridges Self-Employment Program. I heard that they do all kinds of programs and they're really good at what they do. And not all those programs fit me. And I thought, well, that's all right. Bridges helps women um, in a diverse age range. We have students who are 18, we have students who are 65. Um, women who have some type of a history of trauma that they may or may not need some support with. Mm -hmm. um, women who want to move forward in their lives. Through the Bridges program, women like Charlene learn how to take control and move forward. I learned what the next step was, and then the next step and then the next step. It was with grace and ease. Bridges for Women in Victoria created bridging programs. Now there are programs across British Columbia and Bridges has even helped set up some programs internationally. When I think about the Bridges program, the Bridges self-employment program, right? I think about moving forward and I think about collaboration and I think about uh, prosperity. Mm -hmm. It's amazing to witness the transformation that happens when re women really embrace themselves, they're confident, their self-esteem is high, and they believe in themselves. Victoria says that Bridges has no shortage of women who need their services, but they are facing a shortage of funding. The very successful program that Charlene was in, the Bridges Self-Employment Program, um, the funding for that has come to an end, so we're actively trying to fundraise and seek new funding for that program. Bridges is all about transporting women from the bad or traumatic experiences of their past into a new and brighter future. I, I'm not a victim. I'm not a victim of anything, and I'm, and I'm, and I'm strong and I've always been strong. When, you, when I wasn't doing so well, Bridges was there to help me realize that part of me again. And one of those ways to break the cycle of violence or the cycle of trauma is for women to find ways to be successful mm -hmm. in whatever way that looks like. And for a lot of women, that's economic success and being able to support themselves. Bridges understands that when women in our community are strong and confident, our entire community will benefit. From Victoria, I'm Meg Cuthbert. Bridges for Women is hosting its fourth annual International Women's Day Luncheon on Friday, March 7th. Tickets are $75 per person and all proceeds go towards funding the programs at Bridges. For more information or for tickets on the luncheon, visit bridgesforwomen.ca or call 250-385-7410.